George Topercenu was a Romanian poet, short story writer, and humorist. He was born in Bucharest, the son of Ion Topercenu, a furrier and his wife, Paraschiva, a carpet weaver. The family lived in the Contraseni neighborhood. It is said that the origins of the Topercenu family are with a family nister from the village Topercia near Sibiu. There is a family with the name Topercenu who claim to be related to the parents of George Topercenu, settled in Gratistia and Piris. Topercenu began his schooling in Bucharest, and then moved to the hilly countryside of Argus County, in Suicide Commune, where he formed his taste for themes taken from nature. After returning to Bucharest, he attended the Matei Basarab High School, and then completed his secondary studies at the St. Sava High School. Upon graduation, he attended the University of Bucharest Law School, and then its Faculty of Letters, without ever finishing either. This was largely due to a hectic lifestyle punctuated by numerous affairs and heavy alcohol use. His debut came in 1905, the year he published his first verses in Sunday papers and minor magazines. In 1909, he managed to have poems featured in major periodicals, such as Samanatoral. He worked in hand copying, and in 1909 made his mark by having his satirical responsul Masailer functionary in Viata Romanesca. In 1911 he moved to Yashi, on Garibet Ibrelinu's invitation, and became chief editor at Viata Romanesca. He later wrote his well-received articles, Comem de Venet Moldovian and Comem de Venet Ezean which trace his meanderings within Romania. In 1912, he married a young school teacher, Victoria Iaga. They had one son, Georgi. Although the two were very much in love, the marriage soon began to crumble, due to Topercenu's bouts of womanizing and alcoholism. Unable to redeem himself, George nonetheless suffered enormously, and the gradual distancing from Victoria, whom he will repeatedly refer to as his one saving grace, also influenced his literary output. With the beginning of World War I, Topercenu was drafted, then taken prisoner and imprisoned by Bulgarian forces during the Battle of Turtikaya, in September 1916. He was kept in a POW camp until the end of the war, in 1918. After his return, Topercenu published several volumes of wartime recollections, Amintri din Luptel de la Turtukaya, in Giara Lor, Amintri din Bulgaria si Skat Usor, and Pirin Planina. Episoduri Tragis si Kamis din Captivite, which represent, among others, a vivid depiction of the profound effects that the cholera epidemic had on the morale of Romanian troops during their attempted retreat. Bust of Topercenu in Kopu Park, Yashi he began publishing short verses to increasing critical acclaim. In 1926, he was awarded the National Poetry Prize. Topercenu died in Yashi in 1937 of liver cancer, and was buried in the city's Eternitata Cemetery. Streets are named after him in Bursini, Chisinau, Kryova, Hunedoara, Yashi, Medias, Miroslava, Odapenya, Ploiesti, Sibiu, and Sucheva. Schools in Bucharest and Miavenya are also are named after him. George Topercenu Memorial House in Yashi has three main volumes of poetry, Balad Vassel C. Triste, Paradiai Original and Midale Amare, are a compelling mixture of humor and delicate lyricism. Topercenu's favorite device is to switch, without warning, from biting sarcasm to genuine sentiment and vice versa, often with beguiling ease. In his own words he aimed to, through jest, render tears all too clear. Topercenu's most celebrated pieces, such as Balada Un Ui Gri Your Mike and Rhapsody I De Toma can be enjoyed for their flowing verse. On an infantile level, as well as appreciated for carefully constructed metaphors, incisive humor and contemplative ambience. Other, more muscular and less lyrical pieces such as Accelerotl and Siora, display his command of the Romanian language, with cascading similes and emphatic rhythms. Topercenu wrote many satirical pieces, almost all first published as articles. His prose works were collected in several volumes, Memories from the Battle of Turtukaya, in their claw. Memories from Bulgaria and Light Sketches. Letters with no address, humorous and pessimistic prose, pure and planina, tragic and comic episodes from captivity. He also left an unfinished novella, Minunilis Fantului Siso, published posthumously in 1938. Thanks for watching.